welcome back to... I have no clue what part this is. Probably like 21 or something. Uh, anyway, so last video, what did we do? We got here to the route with all the soot and stuff. Picked up the soot sack, and that's what we're going to do this video for a long time, very long time, is grind. I'm probably going to sit here and grind for like an hour, no joke. Um, we could make it to Fall Arbor if we want. Who do we catch this video? I don't know. This route has some sick dudes, though. Like, I really wish we could pick, like, two or three more guys from this route, but we can't. Um, I guess we'll try to look and see if there's, are there any more trainers in this route? Uh, I think we fought them all. There's, here's this ninja guy, and I think there might, there's like two people running around over there. What does this guy say? Yeah, I don't think there's any further, um, oh, I think there might actually be this double. Maybe? Oh, Magby, that's who we got, okay. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be grinding up Crush Draw. Um, he's gonna be our main dude who does the killing of things since he's got a water gun and we're gonna need him for the fire gym upcoming anyway. Um, oh, I meant to check Norman too. I'll do that later. Um, I don't know if we fought, I don't know if we fought this double. Um, here, let me just do my highest two level guys and we'll go ahead and fight this double. And I'm, I have no clue what they have. Um, Tori and Tia, okay, they've got two of this dude who has base 60 all the way around stats, and their spin bits are slightly different. Okay, let's see, oh yeah, and, uh, Crush Straw got Aurora Beam, so I guess we'll use that. Um, Acid hits both? Yes, Acid hits both. Okay, and Aurora Beam it should be stronger than Water Gun, so... Ooh, critical hit. Yeah, probably just gonna take him out anyway. And Belladonna is apparently faster than Crush Draw, so... I never really think of Wall... Eh, Wall Rain is that fast, but I guess it kinda is since it's fully evolved. Compared to some of the other stuff we've been, uh, we've been seeing. Because I know sometimes, like, I could use Encore, and I don't, because I don't think Wall Rain's faster than the thing I'm trying to Encore, so... Anyway, Aurora Beam, kinda like Icy Wind, has a sweet animation. So uh, that's another reason to use it over Ice Ball, I guess. Although I do look, I love my Ice Ball animation, but uh, I guess we're gonna have to bid that farewell. So we're gonna start grind session now, and I'll pick up items and all that. Or wait, did we fight this person? We did. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna grind session starting now, and this is gonna be a long one, so I don't blame you if you skip.
Okay, so that took about, well, that was about an hour of uh, grind session time, so if I speed that up by ten times, that should be uh, about a ten minute grind session done. I'm just kidding, guys, and I know that's not correct. Um, I just wanted to get our math error out of the way for today. Um, uh, anyway, so uh, what we accomplished in that grind session, the reason I wanted to grind here, um, is the thing I mentioned, I was getting out of the way. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, was so that we could get the flutes, the fluties, the glass flutes that snap pokes out of confusion and sleep, infinite use, good stuff, good items, and uh, you can actually use blue flute outside of battle in third gen, so that's pretty handy. Uh, for the rest of this video, I guess we'll just mop up the trainers in this route. The first place we're going to go, though, is uh, we're going to get to... The city, and we are not going to take this as a double. Um, so, ooh, Tasher found the item off that last fight. So, we got some pretty good levels. Crestraw is almost level 30. He'll probably be 30 after the end of this video. Um, got some levels on Raigeki because there was several bulky water dudes, which was pretty nice. Um, and Boss Goddess got up to a definitely a usable level, so, um, kind of on par with. Well, I guess by now we need to be giving the experience share to uh, Maria here. So we will uh, put that on her. Um, yeah, I want to say these guys, I remember they have something that does like earthquake. Um, I want to say they have like a, nuz a nuzz leaf that has a secret power, uh, nature power, and it becomes earthquake. So, okay, so here's this enemy Skarm. And Ice is going to be stronger, I think, but we're going to go to Raigeki to hit it super effectively. Yeah, see, Raigeki is going to be used versus, uh, oh, by the way, I did check up on Norman, and, uh, yeah, he, he has nothing really to hit a, um, an Aggron with that he's got, uh, I think his Spinda has Psybeam, which is still resisted, and his, um, his Slocking has Counter, but that doesn't matter. In the slightest, and uh, the gym after Norman is going to be uh, birds, so we're going to be using Rageki. Although we're going to have to be careful of the um, well, the uh, Altaria we should have no problem with because it's a dragon. So yeah, we, we've got ice, we've got electric. We should have no problem with um, with uh, that gym. Which I'm trying to think how how that gym is different in Ruby and Sapphire. I know that the uh, Moss Deep Gym is like way different in Ruby and Sapphire, and I got so I've gotten so sick of playing through Emerald a million times. Like I, uh, one of the things I wanted to do with this playthrough was play through it on um, if I could do Ruby or Sapphire instead of Emerald because some of the gems are different. But uh, unfortunately, it's not the case. So I want to say the Emerald is a little, it's a little bit different. Uh, it may be 
just slightly, but I know the Mostique Gym is way different from what its puzzle is. Kind of like, um... You know, and that's another thing that irritates me too sometimes about gyms. Is when, oh, here we go. This girl, yeah, this Lombre. Yeah, I think this is like... Counts as like beach, sand terrain or something, so it's uh... It's uh, nature power turns into earthquake, I think, so it's kind of dangerous actually. Which I think is also what nature power turns into on... Yep, there you go. Nature power turned into earthquake. Um, also what it turns into on uh... 5th gen Wi-Fi, but Earthquake did 5 damage, so as long as you don't have a Magnemite or something in there, you should be fine. Um, anyway, um, yeah, that's one, that's one like rants I have about some gyms where their puzzle is just beat the trainers. Things like Eterna Gym, um, I, mean, I guess in Diamond and Pearl, the hide and seek is kind of okay, but eh. uh, yeah, just gimmicks that just make you beat all the trainers are kind of lame. Even things that are annoying, like Lieutenant Surge's gym where you gotta find the switches in the trash cans, even that I prefer. So, here's Lynette, which uh, was featured on one of the cards that I think is okay to use instead of Pokemon, to have instead of the broken card that is Pokemon Collector. I do not like that card. Here, I'm gonna show you guys that card. There we go, another goodie from the EX Sandstorm set. It's pretty much just like Collector, except they all have to be uh, different types. And by types, we mean colors, like lightning and stuff. So, yeah, good stuff. Um, well, I feel kind of weird calling Collector broken now, especially since, you know, people are starting to run Duel Ball more. But anyway, uh, whatever, that's card game stuff aside. Um, Followover Town, another one of my favorite towns in this game. Um, it also has one of the few professors who don't give you Pokemon, the former Professor Cosmo, that's his house. And this is the Move Tutor house, and this route is well known for being the place where we catch the dittos back there, but n we can't do that right now. Um, do we get a TM from him right now? I don't know. Or no, 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 you get a TM from the kid. Yeah, we get we get TM28 dig from the kid, which um would have been nice to get, you know, when we were in Marvel City, but we didn't. Um, let's see, we get uh, TM Roar from this guy, and as you guys can see, there's some water up there that uh, I feel like very few people ever get bother going to because you have to waterfall up to it. I think you need some bike shenanigans up there too. Um, we're not gonna catch a guy this video, I don't think. We're just gonna go back and uh, fight a couple more trainers, I think, and probably call it a video. Okay, here we go. Here's the dude. I know there's like actually three or four more trainers, so we're just gonna clear out this route because we don't like making storyline progress in videos, and that's a, that's a no-no. Nope, we don't, don't want to be doing that. Mm -mm. So, does anyone have experience? I think Michiru has experience here. Yeah. Alright, so we're just gonna blast through some more guys with Wall Rain. I forget what level uh, Flannery's Pokemon are. I'm gonna assume like mid 30s. Um. Actually, the. Well, well, the trainer. I don't know. Probably around 30. 28 to 32 is gonna be my guess. Um. Well, that was weird. Do you guys see that? It's like. Like, it's, it's so weird to see that. Hang on, hang on. We're gonna do the emulator pause thing, because it's so weird. It's so weird to see this route, like, clean without the the ash falling and stuff. So, um... Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be bothering to get any further, um... Uh... Glass items, flutes, and stuff like that. Probably not. Um, the red flute might be useful, but I'm likely not going to do one of the grind session here. So I severely doubt we're going to get enough soot to make it. And uh, the white and black flutes, I find, don't help enough. This guy, by the way, is coughing, so we're going to have to uh, blow his guys up before he blows ours up. I almost feel like Crush Struck could probably live as self-destruct, though. Ninja Boy Lao. There's level 17 coughings, but I'm pretty sure Crushed Rock can outspeed them 
and take him down with Aurora Beam. It is all he has, right? Six, three coffins. I don't know why ninjas get associated with poison types like so hardcore. I actually think one of the ninjas in this route, or some, at some point, has a ninja ask, and that wouldn't make sense. I guess ninjas have, like, they like needle poison, I don't know. Um, poison needles and stuff. I know there's this one, like, story about, uh, Kunoichi. Um, oh, we need to do a, a thing. Can I do a thing here? Hang on. Um, Japanese fun time, guys. Japanese fun time. Um, this is, uh... This is gonna be our Japanese fun time for today. Uh, how does that kanji go? Nope, no, no. Um, Kunoichi, which is a term for a female female ninja. Let's bump the font size up. This is Cooper teaches Japanese trivia today on this on this video. Um, you see, guys, see this right here? This is the symbol that means woman. It is pronounced onna. Um, this is ku. And hiragana. This is no. And katakana. And this is ichi. And uh, kanji for one. Um, it is interesting because kunoichi is, as I just said, female ninja. And if you can kind of see, like, Here's ku. Um, here's no. Like like I'm trying to grab my screen, that's not gonna work. This is like here, kinda. This is like here, kinda, and this is like here, kinda. So it's like and it's like each alphabet too. It's like hiragana, katakana, and and kanji. So that, that that's some Japanese fun trivia that you guys can uh, take and tell all your friends and pretend that you know Japanese and you're really cool. Um because you know, ooh, we get ancient ancient ninja Pokenav registration. Because uh, we had Pokenavs back in ancient days. Because everyone knows that knowing Japanese makes you like ten times cooler at school, right? Um, totally would for me anyway. Um, so here's I think I only encountered like one Venomoth in the entire grind session. By the way, kudos to those of you who uh, stuck around and watched the whole thing because I know it was probably pretty long. Mm. Thirsty. Uh, okay, there's the twins. Uh, do we need to go here? We may as well. Okay, okay, we, we, we've done enough wild fights this video. Slow bros, so, so much good stuff in this route. I'd like to get, like, almost everything in this route. Bulky waters are good stuff. Bulky waters. What does Dasher have? No, don't shift to Dasher, crap. Whatever. I'm suddenly reminded of an old, old, old battle video I had with, uh, with, oh, crap, critical hit, um, with my buddy Colts, where he brought, was it, was it two? Maybe it was three, I don't know, he brought two or three bulky waters, and I had an infamous line where I said, like, three bulky waters? Are you serious? Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was two. Anyway, too many bulky waters for me to deal with. Because I, st I still need to get some, like, water resists in my, uh, repository of dudes. So, Dasher got whacked pretty hard by that water gun. And Dratini's... I don't know how useful a Dratini would have been since, you know, Dragon doesn't have physical stab on um, third gen. But I suppose it would have had Dragon Dance still and stuff, I guess. And uh, Outrage is also not broken. It's a uh, 90 power special, so lo 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 Okay, found, found an Ether. And is this a force double? I don't think so. I th I'm pretty sure you can... Can you not take this dude out from behind? Take him from behind? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure you can take this on as a uh, three singles. Which, as I've explained, we don't like doubles. Doubles are bad. Doubles get your dudes ganged up on and get your dudes killed. 
Just like what happened to my beloved ice cream cone. Signals, however, allow you to switch out to things that have a tight advantage and can, you know, live hits more effectively, so... We like those better. Singles are better. Singles are better. Future level 22. When did she get 21? Somehow I missed that. Speaking of... Speaking, speaking of women... Um... For a second there, I thought I closed the window. That would've been bad. Uh, okay. So we keep water gunning Aeron's... And Crush Draw should get... 30 here? Yep. Level 30. Over a, over a hundred life. Keep in mind. We get a, get a nice 1080 cash out of that. Um, get that from him. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just keep going with Crush Draw, because he's easy to kill stuff with, and he's going to be used upcoming, and he's going to be used for the next couple of things anyway. Okay, it's, this is Edwin Huntel. That reminds me of that Gorbis that we... We can't go through here? Come on, there's so, a, like, a one-tile path, but it's, like, not there. How dumb. Is there a hidden item here? Here, here, nope. Fine, I guess we have to take it as a double. Um, let's see, I think this is the one where the dude has ninjask, so yeah, we'll use... We will use, um, Raigeki to kill that ninjask before it starts to get any speed boost and stuff up. And there's Ninja Boy Lung and Camper Lawrence. Ninja Boy Lung, that's like... Okay, so starts off with coughing, which we definitely want to get down before it uses exploder. Um, we'll do. Uh, I guess we'll do Aurora Beam. Thunder Punch the coughing. There we go. That would have been bad if I'd misclicked in Thunder Punch Crush Draw. He probably would have lived it though, because he's beast. He's a beastly walrus. There we go. There's the ninjask. Yeah, that's another thing about third gen doubles as well. You have to replace immediately when the Pokemon dies, so you don't get to wait until the end of the round. So you can get, like, deaded even quicker. Alright, so Ninjask and a Sandshrew. So this is a pretty good uh, combo to use on these two. Yeah, I think if you don't take that guy from behind, um, he, like, runs up and, uh, fights you again, or you jump straight in a fight with him, so that's, can be kind of irritating. And I'm not even sure if any of these three guys are here in Ruby and Sapphire. Volcanic Ash Swirl Cloak. That sounds like something you could put in the mail with the, uh, the Thrays system and stuff. Okay, ooh, a nugget. Did we get the thing from there? I guess we did. Um, Alright, so that's pretty much it. I guess we'll just make our way back to Fall Arbor. And encounter more... No, I'm not gonna speed. I'm not gonna blow up an hour's worth of progress. That'd be bad. Hopefully the videos don't get corrupted. <laughs> Something like that. Because I, I do not want to have to redo that grind session. Little grind session, like, happened in, what was that, like, part 12? Fine. But, like, these grind- no, no, none of those. I love Slow Bro's animation in this game, too. He, like, grabs his head like, WHAT'S GOING ON?! Also, shouldn't that be called Slow Sis? It's, it's female. Female, right? What is it with Raigeki getting critted by slow bros? Oh, was that a slow bro that gun? Yeah, I think that was a slow bro that gunned him earlier. Maybe that was during a. Uh, I think that might have been during the grind session. I'm not sure. Um, we have a repel, right? Pretty sure we do. Um, a super repel. Yeah, we got a couple of repels. All right, let's just repel and get through here. Because if you guys watched the grind session, I'm sure that you've seen plenty of wild fights you don't want to see anymore. Um, okay, there's double team. 
which we already have on one guy. Um, I totally want to teach that to someone and evasion claws break all over some dude. But uh, anyway, so I guess that's going to do it for this video and I still don't know what video this is. I didn't check. Um, so next video we're going to be going into Route 114, uh, catching a new guy, probably doing trainers and probably not doing uh, getting into the Meteor Falls. Um, unfortunately there is no water in Fall Arbor Town so we cannot fish for a new guy. Um, this, this, this pleases me. But oh well. So we're gonna get healed up. And uh, once again, freaking battle tents mean we can't do a contest until Lily Cove. But I promise you guys, we are gonna do a contest. Um, I know I'm thinking. Thinking on. Thinking on having Maria do a. Like I said, a beauty contest. But a cute contest might be better, because it's him in nature. Um, I also gotta remember which type of move is bad and which um, contest. Like, each contest has, like, like tough, you get bonus for using tough and a penalty for using two other kinds, but I forget what it is. Um, anyway, that'll do it for this. We're gonna save slot four, and I'll see you guys next time for catching a new dude. No grind session next time, guys. Don't worry. No grind session, hopefully for a while. We should be good on leveling for for a good while. Later days.